Hey guys, James Diamond here and welcome to my brand new course here on Sonic Academy as part of the Trance Takeover Month. In this course I'm going to be showing you how to make an uplifting trance track in the style of kind of a state of trance future sound of Egypt and we're going to be doing it from start to finish. So hope you enjoy the course and I'll see you in the first episode. Cheers. Let's take a little dive into the project of what we're going to be working on in this trance takeover. So as it's uplifting trance, we are going to start to have a look at our kick and our bass line. This is the very kind of traditional uplifting rolling kind of bass. It sounds something like this. And if we go into the actual MIDI itself, we can see that we've got this nice kind of rolling sounding bass lines. Got four different bases, each doing their own kind of individual MIDI, which really kind of helps bring that kind of timbre out, makes it a little bit more interesting, a bit more movement to it. And then we've got our kick drum, which is produced via uh, Sonic Academy's Kick 2 synth, and we've rendered that out into a sample, loaded it back into the sampler on FL Studio, linked it to a mixer channel, and we've just got some basic effects on it, some EQ, some filter, an LFO tool, just to have a look at the actual kind of visualization of it itself. It sounds something like this. And then we got our sub bass to go with that. Nice deep sub bass there with some kind of very precise EQing to make sure that we're only kind of processing the exact frequencies that we need to look at. And they're linked to our kick and bass bus. And we're gonna look into how we process that with a compressor, really great compressor here, D TDR Molotok, and then some EQ afterwards. It's a really nice kind of way that we can process our kick and bass to get it nice and clean. Let's have a listen next to our percussion. Let's just skip forwards to where the percussion section starts. It's a really nice kind of traditional uplifting trance kind of percussion. We've got our open hi-hat, close hi-hat, second close hi-hat, third close hi-hat. We've got two claps. And then we've got our loops, three of them. Some really nice sound and loops there. We put them all together and we've linked that to a percussion bus, which has just got some standard kind of cuts on. Sounds really nice. Let's put that in with the kick and the bass. Here's with it just to the kick drum. And then with the sub and the bass line. Sound really nice, got that very traditional uplifting kind of trance sound. Then we move on and we kind of look at some acids, found some really cool stuff on Anna 2 uh, on the trance takeover preset pack. Basically just made our own acids using this preset here. It's called Access Acid, really kind of traditional sounding. And then we've mixed that in with a second acid, a bit more of a kind of Giuseppe kind of sound. Also kind of a classic sound. Put that in with the uh, first acid. Sounding really cool. Let's put that in with the kick and the bass. And let's add in some of the atmospheres that we were gonna be looking at. Suddenly our sound is starting to come together and then we've added some nice plucks and some really kind of cool like classic sounding plucks. I really love these, kind of that chicane kind of vibe. Really nice old school kind of plucks, very, very simple uh, MIDI there as well. Again, all of these uh, sounds are used on uh, Anna 2 by Sonic Academy and I think about 90% of them are being used on the Trance Takeover preset pack that is available and then we've got our nice kind of chord chain section with some pads going on in the background. Some very kind of nice floaty uplifting pads. We can hear we've got that traditional side chain on the pads there. Let's have a listen to how that sounds all together.
really cool sound there and if you would have heard we've got some nice vocals so we've got to be looking at how to take this main vocal over here and we've chopped it up into these kind of smaller sections let's have a quick look at that so we've got the vocal chops here we've got some nice eq on just taking out the low end we're using valhalla supermassive which is a free plugin from the valhalla uh, website really really great definitely recommend getting that and we've got some delay and some compression some eq on afterwards So it's just a really nice way of how we can kind of take the main vocal, chop it up and turn it into something new. So let's have a listen to the actual main vocal itself. very nice subtle vocal there we're not really using it as like a main vocal track this is just kind of like a little bit of an ad lib section just kind of nice additional vocals to thicken up that breakdown and really just give it a little bit more kind of extra atmosphere sounding really cool then we move on to the main lead section so this is the lead that sonic academy provided and this is what it looks like in the midi we will go ahead in the project and kind of have a look at how to kind of improve it so we're doing a remix um, using kind of stems and parts that I've been provided with. I kind of go in to show you how exactly we can take um, an existing kind of main lead and kind of expand on it and the kind of thought process there. We've got various different types of leads here. We've got three different types. So in fact, let's just play it from the main drop section. And we've got lead one. Lead two. and lead three. Now let's put those all together and we've got this very nice traditional uplifting trance. This future sound of Egypt, a state of trance kind of vibe that we're looking for. This is the kind of melody and the kind of sounds that we're going to be looking at. Really big, really nice sound there. We're going to be looking at exactly how we can achieve that. And it's going to be a lot easier than you think, especially with this new kind of preset pack that Sonic Academy have released as part of this course. Let's have a listen to the main drop section itself as it's kind of building up and then dropping here. So there you go, really nice uplifting trance kind of vibe. Something that is very along the kind of lines as my own music itself. I really could feel like this is something that I would release um, on, on a future sound of Egypt or um, you know a state of trance. This is the kind of vibe we're going for. And as you can see, it's not a huge project. It's actually gonna be a lot easier than you think. It's just all about understanding the process behind it, which is what we're gonna go into in detail over the many different videos. Hope you enjoy the course. If there's any questions, feel free to give me a shout on the forums and I'll hopefully see you then. Bye-bye.